Okay guys, so I've been using this Tom Brown tracker knife for some time, but before we get into a review, I want to talk about some of the few ways you can mod this knife to make it even better. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. Okay guys, so now let's jump into this. So to start off, before we look at the sheath and what I've done with the sheath, let's take a look at the knife. So there's really not much I've done to this knife because honestly, when I first got it, I was really like, what the hell is this thing? But as I started to use it, I started to appreciate this knife and its design a lot more. So I really didn't find much needing to be changed in the way of this knife and its overall design. The only thing I did was that I did take off some of the coating on the back so that it will actually strike ferro rods just a little bit better. As you guys can tell here, this is how much better it does. You guys can see there, it's nothing super amazing, but at the same time, not half bad. Now, I will caution you, like most people say, Topps Knives does differentially heat treat most of their blades, or if not all of them. So most of these knives don't have quite as hard a spine. However, the tracker is a little bit more of an exception because they have this sawback blade on them. Topps tends to run the entire back just a little bit harder than they would on, say, a Topps Fieldcraft or B.O.B. Fieldcraft. So this one is a little bit of an exception where, you know, it still works pretty well to strike sparks. So that is what I did to the actual knife to make it just a little bit more user friendly. Now let's take a look. So on the outside, you guys can probably tell, I haven't done a whole lot except added this. So like I said, I really didn't change much to the sheath design. I really don't have any problems with it. I do like the scout style that this knife has on it already. So I didn't really feel much need to change it over to something like a leather sheath or another type of kydex sheath. The only thing I really did is inherently, as I'm sure most of you guys are aware, this knife is rather large and there's actually the biggest hindrance on doing fine crafts and skills is the blade thickness behind the actual cutting edge. That's what hinders it the most in doing fine skills and tasks. So what I did was I took a knife and this knife is the TRC Mini, and I piggybacked it onto the same Kydex sheath that the Tom Brown Tracker has. And the reason why I chose the TRC, as many people will probably be surprised, it isn't really because I like the TRC or because the TRC is super special to me, but rather it was a knife that I was kind of looking through my whole collection of knives and I saw that, you know, it had a Kydex sheath that just so happened to align with two of the already pre-drilled holes on the sheath. And, you know, it's a smaller knife. It works pretty well for fine tasks. So I just threw this one on there because one, it already primarily worked with the setup that I was using. And it does fit the bill for being a smaller companion knife that can more easily do things like skinning and dressing of game animals. It can carve finer notches and overall just do more fine detailed work that the tops Tom Brown tracker just simply can't. And as you guys can see here, you can kind of tell why this tracker, or sorry, this uh, TRC Mini is much, much smaller than the tracker. But I find that it does sit really nicely, like I said, just right here on the sheath of the tracker. And of course, what's nice is when I have this thing affixed to my belt, I got both of these knives within arm's reach. I can just Put the, or I can just grab either one of them depending on the situation or the task at hand. Neither knife is just going to fall out of its sheath and neither knife is going to get lost. And of course, lastly, if you want to take your Tom Brown tracker setup to the max, you got to complement it with a really nice PSK, something like this, where I got a nice life straw here and I got a whole bunch of survival equipment actually in this pouch. So this makes it an absolutely epic and awesome survival setup where you really can't go wrong with having a really fine companion blade, a nice really heavy survival knife, and a whole bunch of small easy to use survival equipment. So that is what I've done to the tracker to make it a beast. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. As always, God bless and I'm out.